This next hunt is the world famous Paul Vaz headshot. I've gotten more grief over this hunt than probably any other I've ever had on video uh, now and probably ever will have. Um, I think it's interesting to watch this because it's a total fluke. No, Paul's not aiming for this deer's head. No, did we try to shoot this deer in the head. Or what's the odds or what's the chances of a deer coming into range, you drawing back and shooting him in the head and him dying right there in that spot? It's almost uh, like winning the lotto. Uh, quite amazing to catch on video. Um, the arrow obviously fishtails away, it either hit a branch, somehow this arrow flies off course and you can see it here in slow motion smack this deer right in the side of the head and the deer dies right there in that spot. Quite an amazing hunt, but the moral of the story is in archery hunting, when you release the arrow, anything can happen. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. He is right there. That's action at its best right there. He's not going anywhere. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 yards from the base of the tree. Exactly the way I had it figured. What a buck. Oh yeah. Look at this buck. Well, I guess I can get rid of the headgear now and put this release away until next time. Look at that, isn't that a beauty? Here is the culmination of all the preseason scouting, all the judging on where to put the tree stand. You know, not all transitional areas have a defined trail going through it, such as this one. I found droppings and where deer had been feeding all the way through this whole area. They're sifting through this area, and that made it a hot spot. I got my tree stand right off on the edge of where this transitional area is, and this is the product of all that hard work. Oh yeah, oh yeah.